Okay, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. I put my phone to see that I am on time. <laughs> um, uh, I'm uh, really ap apologize that uh, I will show my presentation not what I really wanted to show, because it, it is quite difficult to prepare properly, because my computer not was me, and uh, I'm on constant <laughs> travel, uh, already two months nearly. Uh, so uh, I show uh, some works, some old works, I will show my, my, my works in collaboration with my partner, Oleg Vinichenko. And I want to start that uh, the war for me started not three months ago, not uh, 24 of February 2022, but uh, war started 20th of February 2014, uh, when was uh, uh, the beginning of annexation of Crimea. Uh, I was born and raised in Crimea, uh, and uh, mm, I never identify myself before as third generation of displaced to Crimea, but now, yes, I am. I am. Um, uh, 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 so, um, uh, I was not even at home, I was not even in Crimea when it was annexation. Uh, I was married, I just uh, went uh, uh, on a plane from Sweden, uh, from Malmö, um, back to Kiev. Uh, after my marriage as performance, same-sex marriage as performance. And it was during Maidan revolution, so it was an action, a protest, and also act of solidarity with, uh, with Maidan, with the idea of um, being with global society, with, uh, with uh, being queer also, and uh, uh, yeah. So uh, m on my way back, uh, it was I had uh, flight uh, uh, 18 to 19 February 2014. When I just arrived to Kiev airport, I got a phone call from my papa who called me that I should not return home uh, because everywhere is tanks, everywhere is soldiers, Russian soldiers, and uh, some of them came to our home and they asked where I am. Uh, because uh, suddenly I became uh, kind of like, um, forbidden because I was uh, kind of like doing this uh, performance, same-sex marriage, uh, publicly, and uh, it is forbidden in Russia to do propaganda of uh, being queer. Uh, and. Uh, so after that time, and I also have to say that I was artist before, so it's, uh, it's very common that uh, when uh, someone, some uh, curators present me, they start my biography mostly from 2014, like this rebellion and so on and so on, but uh, I mean, I worked uh, quite long period before also, and it was always my art about Kind of like this questioning about identity and uh, woman and um, being a woman uh, and uh, power, like towards power and, uh, and borders. Mm. But uh, after that uh, uh, action uh, by Russia, uh, I uh, <clears throat> like the questioning of uh, who am I. Uh, this question was like constant because. Uh, I was like somewhere in between, and I was very privileged also, uh, privileged um, refugee, displaced, because I was studying in Kyiv, I lived in student campus, and I, but I already had some kind of like a network, and uh, um, yeah, global uh, like art, art community, uh, artists started to help me, but uh, I, I as I mentioned before, I just came to Sweden, so with me was just a small bag uh, with uh, not even warm clothes. Uh, I mean, it was just a few sneak, like one sneak pa pair of sneakers and uh, uh, jacket like this, something very simple. So from that time, I started to, like, I began new life, really, uh, from zero. And um, 
But I was very angry. Uh, yes, I was very angry. I was very depressed, and uh, I was uh, all the time in the clouds. Like you know, it was uh, it was really difficult to understand that over one night you you became non-person. You you became <laughs> became no one from nowhere, and even your home is existing still, but. Uh, the address does not exist because, I mean, it's illegal to send even, there is no post. It's occupied territory, it's like non-territory. Non and uh, the, the question, who are you, who am I, it, it is all the time. And, and since that time, the identity, even like national identity, this question became very important for me because I started to struggle with that and I started to also uh, construct and um, go deep into the history and I r realized, only that time I realized that I'm third generation of, of this place. I'm the first one who was born in Crimea. Uh, my, my grandma, she flee to Crim uh, after Stalin died because she was actually uh, very much uh, progressive and um, she just tried to save her baby four months, five months, like my Eva now, <laughs> when she flew from war. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I started to do uh, a, a lot of actions uh, and the performances against uh, annexation, uh, against uh, Russia propaganda, and uh, uh, following annexation of Crimea, uh, in Donetsk and east part of Ukraine, uh, late uh, spring, uh, war, uh, began like real uh, war uh, uh, that uh, Russian, uh, Russians, not only uh, pro-Russian terrorists also, they didn't only kind of occupy, but they uh, organized uh, Donetsk People Republic, Lugansk People Republic, self-proclaimed. And um, the first action, what they did, they occupied the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art, uh, like Foundation of Contemporary Art, art Izolatia, uh, which was former um, a, um, factor of, of isolation materials during Soviet Union. And uh, there was my uh, figures made from plaster. You see them here uh, and uh, uh, also from soap. It was casts of my body, naked body, which I made quite before. Uh, and the idea from the beginning was to observe how those materials and body from those materials will decay because of the nature, because of the uh, war, winter, spring, autumn, whatever. Uh, but then um, uh, pro-Russian terrorists, they occupy this territory and they shoot to all my uh, sculptures and not only to mine, but to most the whole um, collection. Uh, but when they shoot to my figures, they gave to some Russian uh, journalists interview and they uh, explained that they are, they, they, this action is their performance and they, they do it for reason because they destroy a presentation of um, naked female body which is forbidden to show and they uh, called uh, me as other artists uh, in the list of this um, collection, that we are degenerative artists. Uh, so, yeah, it's very strong link to fascism uh, in uh, Second World War. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and, and they also uh, said in the uh, interview that uh, they will do this kind of uh, the same to anyone who, who is against their the ideology, the idea of uh, presentation of, 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 yeah, the idea. So uh, suddenly I became degenerative artist and of course it made me even more angry and I started to do different uh, actions and performances. And next, uh, I mean, this is, yeah, as I mentioned before, that uh, it's old PDF, but you can see that this uh, action was uh, in uh, 
St. Petersburg in Russia, 1st of July 2014, and uh, I performed there only 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, maybe a bit less. Uh, I was laying down on the stairs uh, of a Hermitage during the opening of Manifesto 10, uh, covered by Ukrainian flag, and my position was uh, kind of like a representation of uh, that body, that soldier, that civilian in east part of Ukraine. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I call this performance 254. Of course, it was illegally what I did. I, I was not uh, invited to do this performance. Uh, uh, 254, it was my number, uh, reg like the number of the um, case uh, when I registered myself as uh, as displaced, as refugee from Crimea to Ukraine. Uh, uh, I was arrested, but I was very lucky uh, because it was the opening of a big international art fe um, kind of festival. Uh, so uh, yeah, it didn't, no one didn't want to have any scandal uh, internationally covered, represented, so uh, they let me go. <clears throat> And after this performance, uh, uh, I found my name, my surname, and whole biograph biography, like really detailed biography, on some uh, platform uh, uh, which called Forbidden, Forbidden Artist in Russia. So, uh, and uh, the questions where I am uh, from. Uh, uh, Russian authority in Crimea to my family uh, was quite often, uh, even more often. So, um, yeah, uh, I I was uh, I can I, I I kept going to protest in a way, but at the same time I was all the time questioning myself, like what is the position uh, of like woman role, and I was always uh, felt that women in the war and kids, it's like most vulnerable um, group of the society. But at that time I was not mama, and uh, but I was uh, also uh, felt like this angriness, but at the same time like, uh, um, uh, yeah, like in the between, I, I was uh, when when people uh, asked me from where are you, I was always um, uh, like I, I didn't know what to answer because this question was very difficult for me because I cannot answer that I'm from Crimea. I was there last time, a, a, October 2013, and uh, but like half of my life I lived there. But also if I will say that I'm from Kyiv, which is not 100% true because I was all the time traveling for art and for survive, surviving. And uh, so all these questions uh, was very, very much um, like eating me from inside. And uh, sometimes I felt like I don't want to leave because like uh, also I felt useless of the art, like what I, what I'm, what, what I can do, like, uh, I, I just make only troubles for myself and my family. And uh, also I felt like extreme miss to my home, for my home, uh, and like this, uh, like not having roots even. Uh, uh, so I, in 2016, I went to Mariupol, and uh, this is a video, uh, photo from Mariupol, uh, uh, on a mined beach, actually, uh, uh, just, uh, and you see, pa wait, ah, yeah, this Azov Stal, uh, uh, historical place. Uh, uh, so, like, I was laying down on a mine beach, uh, and I heard, like, constant explosion, like, boo, boo. first day I was super afraid, but then I was, I got to use, but still, I was, like, I was shocked that, People are already for two years living in a constant war, living in a, in a sound around of bombing, and the rest of the country pretend that, you know, we should continue live as it was before. And uh, all this kind of like angriness and mess was inside me, and 
uh, I, I went to this um, uh, mind beach and I started to scream into the sand, but it also, uh, like Yvette mentioned from the beginning, I'm an architect also, so I, yes, I, I was trained as architect and I worked as an architect. For me, when I do performance in public space, it's very important to, to analyze kind of like a map and the you know, situation. Uh, so I was uh, just uh, kind of like 100 kilometers away by the sea in front facing my invisible home, forbidden home. And it's, it was always like scratching under my skin, like uh, very close to it, but not be, being able to go there not being able to smell uh, <laughs> uh, the air of my home and like not even remember how it is, uh, but remember like properly where I lived my clothes and what was the last. Uh, so I was screaming there and the um, border police came because, uh, uh, you know, people were s got angry because half of this beach you don't see but let let imagine that here am I on on uh, me on on this red uh, uh, dress, but around is the rest of the sun, and people have fun. Uh, yeah, people got to used to have war all the time, so they just pretend that there is no mind beach, there is no militarians, uh, there is no war just 10 kilometers away, and they continue taking baths, ta taking swim, uh, playing, drinking, uh, having, you know, enjoying uh, life, enjoying uh, 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 summer. Uh, and this kind of like, um, doubleness of like, yeah, it, it, it was always, um, uh, I know, provoked me extremely. And this was performance identity, 6th of June, the National Day of Sweden. Uh, ah, five minutes, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> um, uh, because also in Sweden, I, I faced a lot of questions from where are you? Uh, you have weird uh, accent, but you have blonde curls. Buh, 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 and I don't know what to answer. This uh, this was me uh, in Moscow. I washed a Crimean flag. Uh, long story, uh, but I have to say that uh, in 2017 I felt um, deeply traumatized and ill. I was very ill. I think because of all this uh, uh, constant depression and, uh, you know, like uh, n having no chance to explode. So I started to make clones of me. I can I continue to make clones of me, but with different things under the skin, symbolic things. And uh, this was my own way to escape from this radical, radical actions, uh, 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 actionism, but also to heal and uh, to meet my partner with whom I start to collaborate and, and make all my artwork. And then the result of our collaboration, baby, <laughs> and uh, we start to build a gallery shelter in the garage, garage area in Kiev uh, for artists from conflict, with question mark, conflict. And it, we planned to open this summer but you know what, what happened. So yeah, uh, this actually saw figures which were shoot, and I don't have here slide with the holes from bullets, but you can see a little bit here on the brochure uh, on, the, on, a, on a background. I just want to show you uh, some, uh, yeah, this is last uh, photo what I have from Kiev before I flee. Uh, just uh, 12 hours before full invasion, 23rd of February, uh, we opened uh, the last uh, figure full of uh, shells and bullets from east part of Ukraine. I think I'm done. <laughs> Thank you.